Hello and welcome to the University of Kentucky's Technology Training Quick Tips. In today's demonstration we will use Adobe InDesign to create an interactive button for a PDF. Now that we have our design completed we may need to add an interactive button so the user can register straight from the PDF. We can begin building our button by first selecting the rectangle tool from the tool panel. Once you select your rectangle tool you can now left click drag and draw the size of your button. Once the location of the button has been selected you can now go to the control panel, select the fill option to adjust the color of your button. Once the color of the button has been chosen, we can now add effect options to give it a more three-dimensional feel. Once adjustments have been made, click the OK button to save your effects. Let's next add text to our shape by selecting the text tool from the tool panel. Immediately after selecting the text tool, left click on the button and type. Make adjustments to the text as needed. To convert the shape to an interactive button, right click on the shape. Next, select Interactive. From the Interactive window, select Convert to Button. The Buttons and Forms window will now appear. You can now add a name to your button. The event option will allow you to choose how you would like your button to interact. Select the event type. If you're not sure if the end user will be using a desktop and or tablet, then select the on release or tap option. Next, we will need to select an action. In this case, we will select Go to URL. Add the URL into the URL window. Notice once the URL has been placed in the URL window, there is no save function. So the buttons and forms menu can now be closed. Now that we have created our button, our InDesign project is now ready to be exported as an interactive PDF. Select the file menu and next select the export option. It is very important that you remember to select the file type as Adobe PDF Interactive. You will now see the export to PDF Interactive window. For today's example we will keep the default settings. Now that our InDesign project has been exported as a PDF, we can now test the PDF Interactive button. To verify that our register button works, 
Let's left click on it. This should take us directly to our registration page. Thank you for visiting Technologies Training's Quick Tips. For more information, please visit our website.